Hi, this video is for um, Eric Rubera. Um, what you're gonna do is you're gonna load your audio clip into the source window. Well, oh, that's not the source window. Well, shit. So I'm gonna drag my source audio over, and I can. Do you hear that? It's pretty cool. <laughs> So what you're gonna do then, like, and do you know I've got caps lock turned on? If you like, with caps lock on, you can hear do that. If you turn off caps lock, you don't hear anything. It's a lot faster. But I'm gonna do caps lock on because it's gonna be a little helpful. The next step would be come down here, follow me, follow me, follow me, to the toggle source record and timeline button, and you're gonna click that, and then. You're going to see your audio tracks in there, but you may not see your waveform, so what you need to do is you need to click these little buttons. But if you don't see those little buttons, you need to click that little button. So click that little button, click those little buttons, and look, there's your waveform. Look, you can do this right here. Oh my god, it's so easy to find. Oh, 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 oh. So then you can do frame by frame. Oh, there it is, mark your endpoint. Now you're not an idiot. But do you like this though? <laughs> also, what you can do is you can uh, hold down the all uh, option key on your keyboard in the timeline and you can uh, make the tracks taller to make it easier to see. And then if you're even less of an idiot, then you could like, you can even grab this thing and like just zoom in. Like how much easier that is to see. Like you just zoom all the way in, boom, whoa, 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 look how big that waveform is. <laughs> you mark your end plane and you're good to go.